Good morning, everyone. Uh, I haven't done a vid since, well, not last Saturday, the Saturday before, but I just thought I'd go over something that might might help you out, um, stuff that I've learnt through some courses or with some of the work that I've done with my own trainer. Um, yeah, but for, for some of you, you know, your wrists plague you a little bit during your training, I would suggest that for some of you, it might be it might be because you don't spend much time on your hands, all right? So, you know, if you're doing your crawling for the first time or your push-ups and you haven't done much of that, that's where you might, you know, sort of suffer from a, a bit of that wrist pain. So we'll just go over a couple of things that I work on and that I show some of my clients and something that I haven't um, even shown any of my clients for a while because I totally forgot about it. So, um, again, it might be just... I'm hoping you can see me here. Just the fact that you need to actually spend some time actually putting some weight onto your hands and just getting used to some different angles. So that might be something that you need to do in order to sort of sort out your wrist. So, you know, you could like turn your hands externally and, and work on uh, stretching back like so, holding that position for a while. You could also go and turn them inward as far as it can as well. So that's another angle. Again, you'd want to spend a bit of time in this position. Yeah, you could also uh, work on this angle on your wrists as well, all right? So you're just trying to work your hands at different angles and put uh, whatever weight that you feel comfortable with in that position. All right, so I'm putting a bit of pressure on my wrists here. Right. From there, you could also do like a like a, a teacup position, where again you're putting some weight onto your wrist and turning through, or trying to almost have your arm around your wrist. So that's something else to consider in that position. But again, you just spending some time putting some different weight onto your wrist might help you. Uh, with a bit of strength and, and possible pain alleviation in different positions involving you um, doing these things, all right? So some of the wrist stuff that I do uh, for handstands uh, could help you out as well. So I do, um, they're called wrist flexion push-ups and also fin push-ups. So the wrist flexion push-ups, we usually place a bit of pressure on those two knuckles there, I hope you can see. All right, just there, okay. Um, and, and from there, you know, we try and keep our thumbs up and press into the mat and try and lift ourselves up from there. I can't get heaps of reps out, okay, um, but that certainly has helped with me with my wrist strength. So again, that's something to try and work on. Um, fin push-ups, similar to the position I was showing you here. Um, You'd have to be careful with this one, uh, but just coming down and putting whatever weight you could personally handle onto your wrist. Again, getting your wrist strong um, in different angles, which might be, again, relative to some of the work that you do on the ground. So there's a few, a couple of things there. If you've got any questions, just shoot them through. Now, what I was saying, I haven't worked on this one for a while, and I would almost say this is wrists as well as elbows. So just watch me carefully. I've got my hands on a pole like so. So, and what I'm trying to do from here is do rotations like that. So this is not only, I would say, in getting into the wrist, but into the elbow as well. So you could treat this as some form of warm up before you do any sort of work. You know, sometimes people get a bit of elbow pain during chin ups. So this could be something that you could work on to try and warm up your elbows and wrists before doing that as well. So again, that's with two palms up. And I've got to get the coordination going on this side. There we go. And you're trying to so I might have to hold more so towards the end of that pole, actually, that's a bit better. You're just trying to rotate one hand through and go underneath and lock out the elbow there. So there's that one. All right. From there, you can change it up again. Switch hands over.
do the same sort of thing where you're doing now that's difficult those rotations so my hand comes under over and out that is not easy to do you might need to work on different angles or positions to get yourself doing that effectively I could be doing it a lot better but that's okay as I said I haven't practiced this for a while and then obviously you would switch hands up from there and then try that on the other side so I might try and grab at the end extend through so this feels actually quite good on the elbow as well guys whoops so extend through and coming through again so there's a few different things for the wrists as well as the elbows again I would suggest this is just something that you might again you want to get your wrist stronger you probably need to spend some more time uh, putting some weight onto there and some pressure on those areas stretching them out and just actually getting them used to having some contact on the ground so yeah I hope you I hope you've uh, been uh, assisted a little bit with this video again if you've got any questions um, shoot, shoot them through um, I look forward to hearing from you guys have a great day bye for now